Have you ever performed the overhead press and thought to yourself, wow, this exercise is way too easy. I wish there was something out there that pushed me to my absolute limits and made me rethink my many foolish life decisions. No, me either. But if you ever do, the Z press is waiting in the wings for you. Unlike the overhead press, which uses your legs as a base of support to help stabilize your core, the Z press has you sitting down while performing the exercise, eliminating your legs from the equation and making your core do all the heavy lifting. In addition, posture is key chest up, back straight, and legs fully extended. So, much like the prone rows, this is also a no cheating style exercise. As a test, go ahead and sit in this position and raise your hands in the air for a few reps without weights. No, go ahead, I'll wait. That was tough, huh? And also, I'm assuming a little awkward since I've been staring at you silently this whole time. How to perform the Z press. Set your barbell on an elevated surface. Do not attempt to lift the bar from the floor as injury may occur. Lighter weights are also recommended. Sit on the floor, straighten your legs, spread them wide eagle, and imagine you're nailing the back of your knees to the ground. Chest up, back straight. Remember, this is all core, no using a wall for support. Imagine you're sitting on your hamstrings as opposed to your ass in order to help keep the back from slouching. Press the barbell vertical and bob your head out of the way. Once it's past your face, go ahead and bring your head back to its original position and press the bar over your spine. Stay as upright as possible and avoid leaning back at all costs. Benefits of the Z press. Core strength and stabilization, hip flexor mobility, hamstring flexibility, and improving posture. In addition, it's so uncompromising in terms of needing to utilize proper form that it helps transfer directly over to other shoulder press exercises, such as the aforementioned overhead press. Do you want me to silently watch you perform another exercise? No? Okay, we'll move on to the next one.